Well, hello and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to continue to work on building a timesheet in Power Apps. If you've started creating a timesheet, or are you brand new, I've got a timesheet playlist that you can check out. I've sent the link at the bottom of the description. So we're going to continue on working on this spreadsheet, on, the, on this timesheet. So you can see we have a time card screen right here. And we have a discrepancy screen. So the way this works is as a person puts in information into the time card screen and saves it. They have to put a minimum of eight hours, I believe. It's either eight or 10. And if they are under that minimum amount of hours, it will show up in the discrepancy screen. So I'll show you how it works. I'm going to put in a project name, the Exxon. Billing, let's say we're doing regular. It says, please press the T button to enter the time. So press the T button. Let's say we're going to enter time in for Monday. So let's say this person came into work at 6.30. They went to lunch at 11. Came back from lunch at Twelve and left work at sixteen thirty, which is four thirty. So that's a total of nine hours worked. So I press insert, and you'll see the nine hours were saved for that work day. So I'm going to add hours in for Monday through Friday. So that gives us a total of 42 and a half hours. Now this is the work week right here. From April 17th to April 23rd. And let's go to the discrepancy screen. You see that the hours are highlighted in red because you have to be over 10 hours, 10 hours or more. So let's go back. I'm gonna change the hours from Monday to 1700, nope. 
say 1800 to 10 and a half. Save it. So these these hours should be 10 or more. Let me go and delete this entry. Let me add a new entry. Ten and a half on Monday. Tuesday. I'm going to go up to Friday. We have 42 hours total. So now let's go to the discrepancy screen. You'll see that now these are all in white because we're over 10 hours for each day that we worked. Now, if you look on here, we have a plus sign and what this plus sign does is it allows us to add additional work weeks in our list. So right now this list goes up to May 14th. But if we want to add another row, all we do is just press the plus sign and now we have the next row. You notice that this is dynamic. So when I selected May 15th to May 21st, the dates here reflected that work week right here. So I'll show you how I set that up. First, let's go into Gonna click in here. Right here. All right, so this is the formula for Monday. Zoom in so you can see. So we have a, a lookup function that's looking at a SharePoint list called TBL underscore calendar. Okay, and we're going to go to that SharePoint list in a minute. But so we're looking at the data source, which is the SharePoint list. Then it's asking for the column name, which is work week. There's a work week column in that SharePoint list. And we are saying does the work if the work week is equal to the work week drop down? So the work week drop down is this right here. So if that work week column in the SharePoint list equals that work week selection in the drop down. 
give us the start date value. So let's go to that SharePoint list and it'll make sense. Under TBL calendar. So we have a start date column, a work week column. So this work week column here, we're saying in this formula, if an entry in this work week column matches an entry in this work week column in our SharePoint list, give us the start date. So you see here, we selected 5-15-2023 the 5-21-2023. We look down here. We selected this one and it gave us the work week, which is a week number is 20. And the start date is 5-15-2023. 2023. That's how we got the week number 20. That's where that's coming from. And that's where we get 5 15 2023 for the date underneath Monday. So these other formulas do the same thing. So to get Tuesday, all you're doing is using that same formula and just adding one for Tuesday. So Wednesday would be that formula plus two right here and so on. See how that works? Let's move this up. If you have any questions on how to build a timesheet, let me know in the comments.